So, welcome to another tutorial videos for you, especially sa mga nag-online class. So, today, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equation. So, may dalawang paraan tayo para mag-solve ng quadratic equation. So, isa is yung factoring and another one is yung quadratic formula. So, ngayon, ang gagamitin natin is yung quadratic formula. So, let's start. Ang factoring method is mas madali at mas simple yung solution. Pero, hindi lahat ng equation is factorable. So, kailangan rin nating matutunan kung paano gamitin ang quadratic formula. So, now, hindi nyo masisimulan ang pag-solve ng isang equation or quadratic equation using quadratic formula kung hindi nyo alam kung paano siya i-transform into standard form. So, ito yung standard form natin for quadratic equation. AX squared AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. Pag nasa standard form ang equation, lahat ng X terms and constants nasa left side and it should be equal sa 0. Ito na ngayon ang formula natin, yung quadratic formula. So, X is equal to negative B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC all over 2A. So, we have three letters sa ating formula. A, B, C. Yung letter A natin is laging katabi yung x square na term. And yung letter B natin, laging katabi niya yung x na term. And yung C, yun yung constant. Let's have an example. So, this is our example. 2x square plus 2x minus 5. Yung letter A dito is yung 2. And yung letter B is yung 2, positive 2. And yung letter C is yung negative 5. Lagi yung tatandaan, kailangan isama nyo lagi yung sign ng mga numbers para hindi kayo magkamali sa pag-solve ng equation. So, let's solve our example. First, identify lang natin muna yung mga, yung three letters natin. So, A, B, and yung C. Yung A natin is equal to positive 2. Yung B natin is equal to positive 2 also. So, yung letter C natin is negative 5. Ayan. Then, after natin makuha lahat ng letters, i-substitute na natin siya dun sa formula. So, yung formula natin is x is equal to negative B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC all over 2A. So, substitute x is equal to negative b, which is 2, plus minus square root of b square, 2 square, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 5, all over 2 times a. Kailangan isimplify natin yung magiging sagot dito. So, first, kailangan isolve muna natin yung nasa loob ng square root. Then, yung nasa baba. Then, simplify ulit. So, equals negative 2 plus minus. So, 2 square. Square root of 2 square. So, 4 minus or hindi pa minus. So, negative 4 times 2 is 8 times negative 5. So, negative times negative is positive. So, negative 8 times negative 5 is positive 40. So, plus 40. Okay? All over 2 times 2, 4. We will simplify yung nasa square root. So, first, simplify natin yung nasa square root. So, square root of 44 is also equal to square root of 4 times square root of 11. So, yung square root of 4 is a perfect square. So, 2 square root of 4 is equal to 2 times square root of 11. So, square root of 44 is equal to 2 square root of 11. Substitute natin siya dun sa simplified 
solution natin. So, magiging ganito na siya. Negative 2 plus minus 2 square root of 11 all over 4. So, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng terms is divisible by 2. Kaya, para masimplify, lahat i-divide natin sa 2. So, negative 2 all over 2 plus minus 2 over 2 square root of 11. Huwag niyong iiwan yung square root of 11. So, 4 over 2. So, simplify natin to. Then, we will come up with our final answer. So, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. So, equals to negative 1. Plus, minus. So, 2 over 2, cancel nyo lang. So, plus, minus, square root of 11. All over, 4 over 2 is 2. So, Using quadratic formula, 2x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. x will now be negative 1 plus minus square root of 11 over 2. Our final answer.